Well, I came back from a, what, like a two-week excursion into the world of Elden Ring, and I have just been doing that for the past two weeks. Oh, there you go. We're good. And the thing is, I'm so meticulous about doing my skincare routine morning and night. But for some reason, the only time that like veers off course is when I get into a video game. Plus, I recently started watching this one anime. I forgot the... My skin has like not been the best. I'll do like basic shit, but um, what I try to do is like kind of look at my skin day to day. And depending on the condition, I will adjust my routine to that. But these days, it's just like wash my face and slap on whatever. So as you can see, my skin is like not doing so hot right now. Earlier today, I was filming something at the office. So I have a light bit of base makeup on, but hopefully it can show you like, like even if I wasn't wearing makeup, like my skin would still be dry. In the, so the makeup kind of uh, shows you to what extent my skin and especially my lips, like how dry they are. And also I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you my new product that my brand is launching or launched already. I um, mean, it is available now, uh, my new lip mask. I got this headband for my birthday, so. It's tight, but it's really soft and stretchy, so it doesn't make my head hurt like some other headbands. Now my skin, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my skin anymore at this point. It changes like all the goddamn time, but there's a lot of cleansers on the market that advertise themselves as being good for sensitive skin. So they'll be like light and like gentle and nothing too crazy, but I don't know, whenever I'll use them, it's almost like my, I can feel my skin like stinging. And so the only cleanser I've ever found to like not give me that is the uh, Shindy Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser. This brand was made by this uh, content creator named Sissel, uh, who I've met once, I think. We filmed this thing together, but uh, I think she, she's based in Korea. I tried this out because I was curious, but literally it's become one of those cleanses where I wonder why I try anything else. I think it's because I'll get tired of products quickly, I think, specifically cleansers. It's all want to try something else, but when I try something else, that's when I notice that my skin is changing because whenever I use this, my skin condition gets much better. I know it's a cleansing oil. I know people are like, you know, double cleansing. They'll use a cle uh, an oil cleanser and they'll use like a water cleanser afterwards. But honestly, I just leave it at this. Like in the more, I'll wash my face with this in the morning as well. I make sure I cleanse for at least a minute anyway. So it does a pretty good job of removing everything, even makeup. The only thing though, is that if you're wearing like heavy makeup, like the kind of makeup that uh, is like long wearing and the, the really like pink paint like makeup. I notice I do have to go in with this twice, but I'll just kind of like wipe my face afterwards with toner or something. Because if I go in with a water cleanser, my skin, that's when my skin really starts to feel like that tightness. Like the entire ingredients list is like right here on the label and there's like not a lot of products in there. And the thing is, it's really thick. I use about, I'll use like three or four pots, honestly, but I'm not at a sink right now, so. I'm gonna use this too. Actually, maybe, maybe one more pump. And it smells so freaking good. It has a really nice herbally smell. So in the morning, it really it really wakes you up. Like this is disgusting. How nasty my skin is. Because my skin, I don't, my skin is fucking weird. Like my skin on the inside is really dry and dehydrated, but then my skin will get oily on the surface. And it's just like a really annoying issue to deal with. Another really good thing about oil, cleansing oil is that you can actually use cleansing oil to exfoliate your skin. Um, I'm not so huge on like using scrubby type things because my skin is so thin now from uh, getting older. All the lasers I've done for my skin, kind of those factors combined, my skin's gotten a lot thinner. My nose really kind of, kind of holds on to like things like makeup and dead skin. So I kind of had to really exfoliate and also around my nose here and just like the center in general, things like, like right here between my brows and especially here. Here and here, I always have like redness here and here from lack of moisture, lack of hydration, but also the thin, like these parts of my skin are really thin. So they get irritated so easily and using even like those light gel, whatever cleansers really like would fuck those parts up. But using this really thick, kind of oil cleanser allows me to cleanse the areas properly, gently exfoliate, but without like stripping or whatever. Do you see how my lips are right now? How much dead skin there is right now? I was doing this lip thing earlier, this filming this lip stuff. And also I, I knew I was gonna film this video, so I purpose like didn't wear my lip mask. So um, I'm gonna go cleanse this off real quick because I'm not using a water-based cleanser or whatever afterwards. I make sure I really wash this off well. So, so come on. Okay, I'm back. You can just even just cleansing now it looks so much better. There was a fucking long ass hair in my nose. Now I always make sure I have two kinds of toners on hand. One toner just for kind of like moisturizing and another one for kind of exfoliating. Um, the only one I've been really using is the new product that we're making for my brand, which is like really fucking good. 
Like if you have an issue with texture, that shit will like really give you smooth ass skin. Right now I'm only gonna use my moisturizing toner. Do you guys remember uh, Choi Arake? That brand I used to talk about a lot, like especially when I first kind of moved to Korea. And I even made like this collaboration cushion with them. God. I saw the video for that promo video I filmed for that. It was so fucking like, oh, so cringy. And it was before my second nose job. <laughs> Anyway, this is the Accent Shika Sen Toner. Concentrated Central Asiatic Extract Toner helps to maintain deep hydration. I just use this as like the base for my moisture to kind of hydrate on the inside. Um, I used this analogy before, but if you, you know if you have like a dry at sponge for washing the dishes right and it's like really hard if you notice when the water hits the sponge it doesn't immediately get soft and uh squishy it like takes a while for the sponge to kind of absorb it so i kind of see skin as like that in a way where i kind of need to give this initial initial layer of moisture so that the ones afterwards i feel like are more effective because for example if i just wash my face with an oil cleanser right and i just slapped on a cream i feel like my skin isn't properly moisturized and it's not even about using more cream it'll just feel like um, the outside of my skin is more moisturized and the inside still feels kind of like tight in a way. If you have dehydrated skin, you'll know. Or dry skin. And I also make sure to put some on my lips as well. Now since this is a special routine, uh, I'm gonna use some masks. Eye gel masks? I've always tried to get into them because, you know, also because on social media, the kids really love eye, eye patches, but I was never really into them because I felt like they never really did anything for me because it's just like this thin ass piece of strip of like gel that i don't know i don't i feel like once you take it off like nothing happens but uh my friend eddie young the one i film uh bunny and cherry and the boy beat with i don't afraid where do you learn our english from you apparently <laughs> <laughs> he gave me this these eye patches from ideal love they were from like iherb i think and i tried these and i really freaking like them after the second try the first time i tried them i i liked them but i noticed they leave this really weird like film on the skin where if I rubbed it, it would like pill. But then the second time I tried it, I like put them on and I did something and I like got really into what I was doing. So I took them off after like, what was it? it was like 40 minutes or something. And by the time it really absorbed, my eyes felt like really, I felt like my eyes felt like, like tight. But of course I can't be leaving these off for 40 minutes every single time, right? So to avoid the kind of like pilling, I will use a toner to kind of like takajoy it. I'll take off the excess uh, essence with toner. These have like a lot of essence surprisingly. So I do kind of wipe off the excess. Is this the right way? I never know. It's a man. I don't know, but do you see like this excess gel around? Oh my god, do you see all this essence? That's the essence that if you let's leave it on your skin, it kind of just like turns to this goopy mess and it will pill. Now while I'm using this and the sheet mask, I'm going to be putting my lip mask on as well, but if I'm going to explain my lip mask, I think it'd be weird to have the sheet mask on. So first I'm going to explain these two and then I'll they'll do that. But the sheet mask I'm going to use is the Papa Recipe Bombi Honey Mask. And I first got introduced to these when I was doing that Amazon Live shit a few years ago. I met one of the guys at the brand and he's super kind and the products are really fucking good. I heard a lot about them before previously, before doing that live, but after I used it, I was like, this is why they're so famous. They have a huge lineup of uh, sheet masks, which are all generally like honey or whatever, but um, this, I would like buy the shit in bulk if I could. It's probably an effect of um, after using the sheet mask. I don't put these in the fridge, but it's almost like my skin is just cooled down and my skin has a lot of redness. I, my skin just heats up quickly, I think. After using this, it really calms down my skin and my skin looks so much more bright and even. And, but I want to talk to you about my new Cielo Cloud9 Lip Refining Mask. Yes! The packaging is just so freaking pretty, right? Especially with the Cream Dream skin, like... I made this because my lips just produce dead skin like nobody's business, like on a whole nother level. And because in general, I'm a very dehydrated person, even though I drink all this water, it just really shows in my lips because my lips will get like really, even if it's not like dead skin necessarily on my lips, my lips will just get like cracked and like like really liney and like and because I like to wear lip tints or whatever on my lips, that makes it a lot worse. I needed something that does both exfoliation and can be used as just like a lip balm or lip mask to moisturize and that's how I came up with this. There's a whole ton of lip masks out on the market but I think the thing that really distinguishes mine is the actual texture itself. The thing that annoyed me and I'm going to be comparing this a lot to things like the Laneige lip mask or even just Vaseline which are great products but I try to take things that I didn't like about like this stuff and change it and put it in here. The main thing being the texture. The thing about Vaseline and like the Laneige lip mask is that they're good but they're very like 
you know when you put a lip balm on or like a lip mask on, it kind of you this a lot because you you want to get that feeling of like you're spreading on your lips and you're like really like getting it deep into like the inner layers of your lips to get that deep hydration or whatever. But it like spreads everywhere and also not just that but when they melt on your lips they turn really thin and it absorbs into the lips in a way Vaseline is supposed to be like 100% petroleum so, uh, so your skin can't absorb it but I noticed after a little bit even like 30 minutes an hour it's like gone and that's why you often see people that use Vaseline for their lips constantly apply it throughout the day and the thing is because it's a skin protectant it's not actually hydrating your lips it's kind of just like protecting your lips which if your skin if your lips are dry you're kind of just like protecting dry lips but for my lip mask besides being almost like a lip protectant it also has ingredients in here that actually hydrate the lips so while you're wearing it your lips are actually getting more plump and they're getting more hydrated and moisturized the vaseline i love to use for my skin um, after i do my whole skincare routine i'll put this on at night and you know slugging or whatever is the trend these days but for my lips um the Laneige lip mask, it's a little bit better than that, but my issue with that one is that I find that it's not uh, sticky enough. And with my lip mask, I made sure I made it really, really thick and sticky. And a lot of people that wear lip balms or like lip masks say that they don't like sticky things. But for me, I felt like it was really important to make the texture sticky and thick because that's what actually helps it stay on your lips and keep it from like absorbing too quickly into your lips even after wearing this for like long hours it's still on my lips and it really only comes off when you want to take it off of course i do like end up like blotting it or like wiping it because i'll be eating or something and i don't want to like i know some people are like but for me, I can't I deal with that, so I just like wipe it off anyway. But so the really thick, sticky texture helps it stay on your lips and keep it from like spreading too far out. That's another thing with Laneige lip mask and Vaseline is that they spread out too far in your lips. And it's like all over, and I don't really, I'm not a big fan of that. It has Moody Moody seed butter for nourishing, softening, and hydrating, and also apricot kernel oil, which will help hydrate the inside of your lips. But it's all vegan, so it comes with a spatula, so you can use this to kind of scoop out. There's several ways you can use it. If you're gonna use it as a lip mask. Um, you can use about this much. If you use it as a lip balm, you can use way, way less. The best time for me to use this as a person that, you know, will wear makeup or whatever for like shooting or like doing YouTube or like if I'm meeting my friends or whatever, I'll use it at the beginning of my skin routine. And you know how if you watch all the beauty YouTubers, they'll be like, oh, let me put some lip balm on before I start my makeup routine. That's great. But then I feel like in the time you're doing your makeup, this does a lot more for your lips because of the ingredients and because of the texture. If you're using it as a way to exfoliate your lips, if you're doing it before your makeup routine, putting on a thick layer really helps. What I've done before as well is using like, I saw this on like Chinese, on Doyen, Chinese TikTok is, they'll put it on like their lip mask and then they'll put like a, a saran wrap over and that really helps speed up the process as well because of, uh, it traps the heat on your lips and that really helps melt the dead skin. As a lip exfoliator, you're probably thinking, oh, how is this gonna exfoliate your lips? For me, scrubs have never really been a thing I could use because those kind of just scratch your lips and it doesn't, you're kind of forcing the skin off of the lips. But because of the super thick, thick texture of my uh, Cloud9 lip mask, what it does is it kind of it like really swells up the dead skin on your lips and it makes it super easy to just remove. Um, the minimum I would say is like 10 to 20 minutes. And obviously the best would be to use it overnight as like a lip sleeping mask. And that really, like if you use this for the first time and you're a person that has a lot of dead skin on your lips, you'll be shocked at how much dead skin actually comes off because it just keeps coming off. And, and the way it really makes your skin, your lips so smooth and plump uh, after using it, it's just like, I don't think I've ever seen it from any other lip products and I know this is my product but um yeah that's which is why I'm really proud of it if you or someone you know has really dry like chronically dry ass lips I really recommend this product even there's just the smell alone it smells like it's like strawberries and cream and so it's addicting you know what because I've been talking so much I think I can just take this off and I like that the sheet mask is really thin so you can see where it really adheres super well I hate sheet masks that are like fucking thick and they just kind of like, especially on the sides, they just fold up. You want to make sure there's no like white parts that are not attached to the skin. Okay, I'll be back in like uh, 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take the sheet mask off. Usually you like pat the excess essence in, but sometimes it can feel he too heavy for my skin. So I like to take the toner I used earlier on a cotton pad and gently wipe. And now I'm gonna remove my lip mask. Uh, I usually use a uh, wet tissue wipe with really strong ones. You really wanna avoid it. What I notice is a lot of the water wipes in America have that really, the ones that have that really strong fragrance that I think is meant to be used on your bottom. But I really recommend looking for the ones that are like meant for babies that have like no fragrance. Or you can just take face towel and just run it under hot water. 
um, and you can use that to kind of remove the dead skin. I don't know if much is going to come out because I've been keeping my lips in as best condition as I can. I just want to rub in one direction. A little bit, not too much, which is fine. There's a little bit more coming out here. See that dead skin on there? Again, if you use this for the first time, it is like mind blowing how it comes out. Like when I use it on my mom, that shit it just kept like rubbing off. And I think it's really important to note that the effect of taking off all the dead skin is like fun and all that, but you don't want to do it every single day because your lips do need time to recover. What you're doing is you're just taking off like the excessive skin. It looks so much better. And another thing you'll notice after using this is compared to things like Vaseline or uh, I keep talking shit about the lip mask, but in general, other lip masks. After you take it off, you'll notice a like your lips are actually moisturized. And you know when you have like when you do your makeup routine or whatever, and you put lip balm on, and then right before you do your lip makeup, or you wipe off your lip balm, but your lips are like. Like you wiped out the lip balm, right? So the moisture that that was providing is like there's nothing left. So your lips are technically just dry again. Because of this moisturizer on the inside, you'll notice your lips are actually moisturized afterwards. Because this is my night routine, I am just gonna put a little bit on afterwards. And also, I, I was talking about how sticky it is, but once it warms up to the temperature of your skin, it does kind of melt into like this really comfortable, sturdy, but comfortable kind of texture, I guess. It's enough so that it actually stays on your lips without, uh, getting everywhere and actually it's like the last step of my actual routine i'm gonna finish it off with my cream green skin fluid from my brand cielo this is basically a cream serum uh, it combines anti-aging hydrating skin recovery skin tightening benefits of like things like serum with the moisture and hydration of like a cream like the texture is like a serum but when you apply it it almost thickens up if you use this before makeup which is it's great for before makeup i made this for like because I'm a makeup wearer, I made sure um, it's something that you can wear under makeup. I recommend like, depending on your face size, one to two pumps is fine. You don't want to put too, too much, just like with any skincare product, putting too much skincare before your base makeup can make, cause it to slide around. But if you don't wear makeup or you just use this for uh, just like skincare or whatever, which is what it is, it's skincare. You can use like two or three pumps or whatever. It absorbs quickly, but uh, after a few minutes, you will definitely notice that like almost like lifting it because it has like pro uh, ingredients in it that almost give your skin like this Botox effect. And like I was saying earlier at the beginning of the video, my skin is dehydrated, so it does not want to hold on to moisture very well. So I do like to finish it off with Vaseline. I try not to use too much. I notice if I use like a ton, my skin feels really weird. My skin gets really red when I touch it. But yeah, I tried this after seeing it on like social media and like slugging really, really uh, helps. So there's my uh, kind of routine. On like a regular basis, I pretty much just use my lip mask, my cream dream, and just a toner. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, make sure you check out my new lip mask. It makes a really good gift for friends or family or even just yourself. I have a lot of videos uh, to edit and upload, but in fact, I have this one idle video where it's like literally just the cut editing. It's like an hour and like 13 minutes long. Jesus. Anyway, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye, everyone.